take tips looking back at the weekend that just passed us by in early February. We'll talk about the NBA today to start things off. What did we learn about the Cavs, the Lakers, and the Celtics, the three best teams in the NBA? What did we learn about those guys this week? Well, we learned the Lakers, even without Andrew Bynum, are about as good as it gets as Lamar Oda basically takes over two games, especially the game against the Cavs where he goes for a ridiculous 28-17. This is what Lamar Odom is capable of. That's the, been the curious thing about his career, is that Lamar Odom, while right on the cusp of being an all-star player, some nights floats through the game, you don't even know what's happening. Other nights, he's the dominant player on the court. He bailed the Lakers out in Boston when Garnett fouled out. He made some key shots. And, of course, with Kobe struggling with the flu, he was the key to their win in Cleveland. Pretty impressive. They swept the Celtics, and they have swept the Cavaliers this year. What does it mean? Nothing. Because championships are won in June, and Kobe still was pretty well contained by both Boston and Cleveland. The reality is LeBron needs more from his team if he's going to be able to get to the next level. I still say 23-0 at home is 23-0 at home. They had a bad night against the Cavs. LeBron didn't shoot it well, but the Cavaliers are just fine. Celtics, they lose back-to-back -back home games to the Spurs and Lakers. They still need one more piece at the end of the the day. Alex Rodriguez be fascinating to find out how he handles this thing. As Domino says, does he take the Mark McGuire route and say, uh, I say nothing? Does he take Roger Clemens route and say, I never did anything? Or does he throw himself at the mercy of the public, as Andrew Petty Pettit and Jason Giambi did? All right, another couple of quick notes. Saw a movie over the weekend, Frost Nixon. I've seen almost every one of the Oscar-nominated films. This is a great two hours of filmmaking by Ron Howard, one of the great directors. And you won't see a better performance than Frank Langella, who humanizes Richard Nixon, like I have never seen. This is a really outstanding two hours to go along with Slumdog Millionaire and Grand Torino, my favorite movies so far of the uh, holiday movie or the January movie season. And finally, has any restaurant taken off with the hype that Flip has over on Howell Mill Road? Richard Blaze from Top Chef has now got the hottest restaurant in Atlanta. Haven't been there? Haven't tried one of their 15 burgers, but I know he's on the cover of Creative Loafing. He's all over every publication. He got four stars from the AJC. My next stop is to figure out, is all the hype for real? What's going on with Flip, the newest, hottest deal in Atlanta? All burgers, all the time. We'll check it out. Steak tips. See you down the road.